Hi there, welcome back to the McMahon Group. Thanks so much for joining us today. You know, if you stay abreast of fashion and even hair, we have got the latest accessory and trend in hairstyles. Steven Tyler, Keisha, Miley Cyrus, they're all doing it. Paula Moyes joins us today, the owner of Moment Salon. Hello. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. I am so excited to learn about these. Well, it's the hottest trend, and we've been doing it for about six months in the salon, and it's just getting bigger and bigger. It's awesome. It, it is awesome, and they look great in your hair. You brought Thank along you. Carolina. She's a stylist at Moments, yes. as well as our model, Michaela. I've got to say happy birthday to you. Happy 21st. Thank you very much. So, you know, as I'm looking at your hair, Paula, I love it. it. You know, when I looked at you from the front, I couldn't really tell it was there. Right. It's still very classy. It blends with your hair well, but it's a little pop. Exactly. And that's what's nice about this trend is that you can make it, you know, professional. You can go to work. And then if you want to jazz it up a little bit, you know, I've got a couple in this side. And then I've got a couple over here, and mm -hmm. that would be like a, a peekaboo type of look, or you can do, you know, more of an extreme. What we have here on our model, um, you know, where it's a little more vibrant and a bigger feather. You know, they come in really. Yeah. That's perfect for a 21st birthday celebration. <laughs> exactly. Teal. And then I love yours with the purple that actually matches your uh, shirt. Yeah. And then she has a fun little feather right here, if you can see that one. And that's attached underneath. And it looks really cute when she actually pulls her hair up in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. And that little feather hangs out. It's very cute. Now, what's the commitment level like for these? Well, the commitment are two things. We can either put them in, which Caroline is going to demonstrate right now, which takes about 30 seconds. Okay, so let's do that while we're talking. That one lasts about two to four months. And the only reason for that is you need to come back because it grows out. So then you want to reposition it back, you know, up, up. closer to the scalp. Exactly. So it's an actual extension that they adhere to the, to the hair. It lasts two to four two months. Two to four to months. Can you wash it? Can you curl it? Yes. Can you blow dry it? This particular one, you can blow dry, flat iron. You can actually leave it in your hair while you're doing hair coloring. How long does it take to put this in? Literally two seconds. The longest thing is picking the color that you want. Okay, Paula, where are these feathers coming from? Well. There's two types. There's the ones that she's putting in, they're more of a rooster feather, and they seem to be, uh, can withhold, you know, the, the heat and the washing. Um, and then we have another type that I was going to show you while, while Caroline is putting that in, that actually clips in that there is no commitment. You can take it in or out. Okay. And these are actually chicken feathers. Kind of interesting that chicken feathers aren't as strong as a rooster feather. Right. But that's kind of what this would be. Okay, let's see if Chris can get a close up on this yes. chicken feather. This is actually really cute. Um, so you just clip this right into the hair. Right. And you can take it out. Now can you wash this as well? I wouldn't suggest washing it because it's loftier and a little more delicate and that's what I would do. Now obviously this is a peacock feather but the surrounding feathers you know. You know, this seems like a trend that I could see. I mean, of course, a lot of kids doing it. They're kind of on the cutting edge. It's kind of Native American meets funky. Right. I get it. But are adults doing this? I mean, you look believe great it, at Well, this. believe it or not, I'm 46, and I'm there's a lot of clients that are coming in, you know, at my age doing it. We've got grandmothers all the way down to five-year-olds. You okay. know, the trend, when we first started it, it was actually with people, you know, in their 30s and 40s. But now that school's getting out, because, you know, a lot of the schools maybe wouldn't allow it in the school session, now we've got dozens of kids every day. Okay, so that's done. That was simple. Super easy. Put that easy. in. That's really cute. And she did that one like a peekaboo. So again, if you want it to be conservative or, you know, and just have it pop, otherwise what she could do is then pull it back, you know, and pull it out so where it does show. So right. there's kind of two different you know you can really wear it in several exactly. different ways. You can pull it in a pony to accentuate, mm -hmm. you know, you can put it underneath. So when you pull it up, there's just many ways that you can do it. Mm -hmm. And you have shorter ones, so you, do, do they come in this length? They come in all different lengths, so the particular colors that I wanted were long feathers, so we just put them in and then cut them to match you know, the length that I wanted in my hair. And how long, I mean, if we, if we decide to get these in and then mm -hmm. if we have an event coming up and we say, you know, this doesn't really fit for by evening, right? can you take these out? Yeah, you can take them out. It's as quick to take them out as it is to put them in. And then my suggestion is keep those feathers because now you own them and you can use it. You could come in and trade it out daily if you wanted. You know, you don't have to wait the two to four months. Right. Okay, I think I'm ready to commit. Yeah. I think I would like one. We actually chose one before we started the segment. Um, so I'll just uh, let you put that in my hair, Carolina. And what are we going to do? The other side? Okay, I'll let you go on this side of me then, and we'll just uh, see how this works. <laughs> and on, okay. on your colors, we chose two because the one color, you know, you needed a little dimension, mm -hmm. and the one color matches your hair exactly, mm -hmm. and so this way you've got more of a dimension going. And okay. we've got one that 
is like a, an auburn type color and then one that's more of a stripe. It's mm -hmm. a, a cream with black stripe. And I know that you're gonna really enjoy it. Okay, I'm really excited to have this in my hair. This will be a lot of fun. You know, here we are in summer, Paula. Um, should we be wearing some type of protectant on our hair every time we go outside? Yes, uh, right now, you know, putting an SPF, they've, you know, just come out with the new rules that you have to have a, you know, UVA and UVB. And right now, the hair industry has many spray in, you know, right over the top <coughs> SPFs. And, you know, it helps with your scalp and also your hair color. Well, that was very, very quick. Very That's cute. very quick. Okay, that. You know, wow. and so what very you can cute. do is, you know, again, show it or you can actually cover it and peekaboo it so that you don't really see it. Yeah, that looks really good. Cool. Like, that's really fun. It's conservative enough, but it gives you a little bit of a pop. It's exactly. really quite fun. Okay, so we've got the protectant on our hair going mm -hmm. out into the sun. Mm -hmm. You offer so many other things at moments. I was actually shocked when I walked in because the storefront, you can't tell how big you are. Right. You walk in and you offer everything. We do. We're a 4,000 square foot salon and we've got 85 service providers. We do all nail services, hair services, massage, facials, and of course the feathers. And, uh, and are you doing the retail. glitter extensions as well? We do. We have there like a tinsel, and you can get those in different colors. And it looks really cute to intertwine those, you know, with with the feathers. Okay, that's yeah. a lot of fun. What about waxing services? Oh yes, that's we big for summer. Waxing is very <laughs> big. Yes, it's a it's a great service. We you know we actually uh, it's unisex. You know we have a lot of male athletes that come in, and you know female athletes, and then just for your you know normal summer clothes. So is it really true? I was reading this article about men, and it was twenty things talking about it and one of the questions for them was do you manscape every oh, yes. last one of them said oh, yes. yes oh absolutely you would be amazed how many men come in for their manicures their haircuts and their waxing you would be amazed so this is the metrosexual look very metrosexual although like I said there's there's a lot of you know an athlete and it's funny because a lot of them come in the back door because they don't want to be known so we have the sort of there's still a little bit of a stigma uh -huh, attached to it. I, you know, I'm still a man, but yeah. I want to take care yeah, of myself. Exactly. So we have a very nice male clientele. And Steven Tyler was sporting these on American Idol oh, one day. Yes. Did that give a huge rush into the salon? You know, it, did, these? It, it actually validated it because actually we were doing it before the show started. And so it just validated that it is a cool thing. Right. And there he is. We have a picture of him. That's more something like this. He has He's several got, feathers in his he hair. He does. There. And he does have some that clip in and he does have some that are actually put in. And he actually made that comment on one of the shows how he has to, you know, get ready and all this work that he needs to do to create that look. <laughs> well, he does look good. I'm yeah. going to give him oh, that hello. much, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stephen Tyler. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you know, it is a little bit controversial in terms of where they're getting the feathers. I agree, and, and the bottom line is the type of uh, vendors that we're using, because I like to research things, I don't like to be in the yeah. middle of the controversy, um, they are on a limited basis. It's not like we can have unlimited, you know, when we place an order for the salon to get them, we don't always know what we're going to get the color. We don't always know that we're even going to get the order. And that being said, there is a limited supply and it is a humane way. They're, Great. they're you know, Great. fallen feathers. So it is a humane it, way that you're getting absolutely. it from a, a source that is humane. So absolutely. Good. Thank you so much, Moment Salon. Paula right here. Thank you, Carolina. Michaela, thank you all for joining us today. Thank you for joining us. If you're interested in getting a feather extension, it just takes a minute. All you have to do is contact Moment Salon. We'll be right back after the break.